the Lord uh, placed on our hearts like years ago, we knew that we are, that one day we will open a house of refuge somehow. Yes. And when we found this house, we knew the Lord is saying something. So we spread the house for two apartments. Downstairs, my sister lives with her son. We live here and all the entrance, we will take you to see it. It will be the house of refuge. We will start to uh, open the house for the women in October because my sister won't be here before. And we don't want to give them just a house and a food and some money. Uh, the goal is to receive them in while they are broken, with or without, their, or, or without their kids, and to give them tools that when they will go out of here, they will be in totally different position. They could start with their life, they could work, and they could go out from this grieving to joy. And of course, of course, if they are not believers, to go out of here, we pray that they will go out of here while they are born again. My husband also has a, a huge piece of land in, on the way to Jerusalem. It calls Ganea Chaim, Gardens of Life. And uh, he's taking care of it. He's working on it for the, um, for the body of Messiah. And we are bringing over the women that went through abortions and they regret, but they, there is no baby anymore and they can't grieve for it. So they are planting trees over there and instead of you know a dead stone that they that don't even have this because they don't know where the baby is, now they have a living tree that they can come and, and take care of it and it's a great of free living. And over the, usually the women that are coming over there they are non-believers. So then he is evangelizing them over there and I think that many of them will come over here after that. So this is one part of the house. The ladies will join us in this part. As you see, we still don't have furniture. We need live a living room over there and many other things. They will live in, uh, in those rooms. This, this is one room. This is the other room. Uh, we still need more mattresses that if a, if a woman will come with several kids, this one bed won't help, but we could put more mattresses. We need uh, closets to put there, put, to put here, a little kitchen. We need a kitchen over there in the other part of the house. We need um, air conditions and uh, we want to we want to give them here a, a, a private corner of their own that they could sit, they could receive their guests or something, that they could have their own pri privacy, even though they will be a part of the house, but we want to give them to feel at home. Most of them are coming from a horrible background. We want them to feel uh, uh, peace. We want them to, 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 to feel the love of the Lord, that they will have everything they need. Plus. As you see, the garden is quite big and we want to give them all this side of the house, the left side of the house. We zijn op bezoek geweest in het House of Refugee en dat is een project van Hama Jan, de gemeente hier. En u heeft net gezien in het interview dat er nood is voor single mothers. En deze mensen willen hier iets aan doen en we hebben uw hulp daarbij nodig. Ze moeten de kamers nog inrichten en Joris heeft hier 2000 euro voor beschikbaar gesteld uit de algemene middelen. En we hopen dat we dat kunnen aanvullen met donaties die u geeft.